What's happening, good people? Welcome to another edition of Disappointing Guitars, brought to you by Iron. This Les Paul was originally supposed to be a bead between this and the Epiphone to see which one we're keeping. And by now you've seen the Fesley video, which, you know, we're not keeping either one of these. Well, we got to keep the F before now because we took the sander to it. If you haven't seen that. But. It's actually a little fun little project now, but. It's funny, they did offer me free shipping after I left a one-star review on the guitar, but then I kind of told them that I took a sander to it, so I'm keeping it. Oh, well, that's fine. This guitar, definitely without its faults, just like any true Timu shipped guitar, it looks like it went 12 rounds with Mike Tyson, and there's a whole bunch of dents, dings, and scratches on it so if it was like forty dollars might keep it but this thing I believe was a hundred and three dollars i'll see if i can put the price up on the screen if i can find it anymore but there's a huge dent ding right here i'm going to give you close-ups of it too a little scrape over here there's can't really show you too well now but the way the neck is cut you can definitely feel it's not finished properly and uh there's a scrape up there so for a brand new guitar that took a month to get, it was already kind of depressing out of the box. What does it come with? It came with a strap, you know, the usual set of strings and a pick, the truss rod adjustment, and an okay case, which is more than the Epiphone came with. It's already $40 less. The finish was actually kind of cool, even though it's just like a picture that's laminated on here, but... The uh, back and body are mahogany. They claim it's a rosewood fretboard. It might be. Maple neck. Locking tuners. The tuners actually, you could feel like a little rough edge on them. Like they're not like machined too well or, or finished, I guess you would say. Straight out of the box. Let it settle for a little bit, but no major adjustments. So you could hear how it sounds from an unboxing. No intonation. I'm not going to bother anyway with it. We'll see how it sounds. We're gonna run it through the Marshall DSL 40 and we got the warm audio Centavo on the floor just to give it a little dirt, see how it handles that. I think it sounds better from compared to the, what the Epiphone sounded like. Give it a little dirt. Clobber some strings. Thank you. 
out of the box sounds much better than the Epiphone did. At $103 compared to this was on sale for $149. The pickups sounded better. The finish is better. It has the weight of a Les Paul that you kind of expect. It's not too weighty where it's going to break your back, but that thing felt like it was paper thin. Not a fan of the dings, dents, and scratches. If you like relicking, then Timu guitars are probably for you. But I think this is probably going to be my last one. To wait a month for something in this condition and then have to send it back and then possibly wait another month for it to be shipped over, you would think that it was coming from a factory that it would be, you know, packaged carefully. And I don't know. I purchased all these guitars and I'm not pointing any fingers or saying anything negative to the people that maybe get them from Timu to review, but they probably slap on maybe a nicer Fragili sticker, maybe ship it in a little extra special, faster delivery. And that's why they're not pointing out like these major, major dings right here. Well, let me know what you thought about this Les Paul copy. It's probably gonna be the last one from Timu that we do, but not the last one from across the seas that we're gonna do. We got one coming real soon. So be on the lookout for that video. You've all been a fantastic audience, and as always, stay tuned.